Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 30 of Future, and this one is titled Overheards. This chapter starts back with Kaminari and Kyrie looking after Ginny. Kaminari was up early the next morning and already had Ginny out of her cot and playing at 7am. Kyrie had decided to stay over to help for the weekend, and Kaminari had given her the master bedroom to sleep in, and he had opted for the couch. Okay, baby girl, what would you like for breakfast? He asked Ginny as she happily crawled all over him while he lay on the floor. Ginny giggled and blew her lips together as she stared into Kaminari's eyes. You're a real cutie, you know that? He gushed quietly as he pinched her cheeks. I'm going to make some pancakes. He got up from the floor and scooped Ginny up in his arms, making his way to the kitchen. Unbeknownst to him, Kyrie was watching from down the hallway and had decided to stay just out of sight and observe. He seemed to genuinely enjoy playing with Ginny and it made her warm and fuzzy inside to see a guy taking on the role of babysitter so seriously. She manoeuvred herself so that she could watch them through the kitchen door and stayed still. Kaminari gently plopped Ginny in her high chair and then went to the cupboard to grab the pancake mix. Now, Kaminari said seriously, staring at the plastic bottle. How do you drive this thing? Kyrie stifled a giggle. He was such a dork. Kaminari continued with his one-sided comedy routine. Ginny babe, can you read this? He asked the baby in all seriousness, handing the container to her. She reached out and took it and shook it a few times, then put the carton to her mouth to test it out for a good chew. Yeah, perfect, Kaminari said with a smile, watching her. It's exactly what we're going to do. He gently took the carton back and filled the bottle to the waterline, then put the lid back on and started shaking. As the mixture thickened inside, it made a funny squelching noise, and Ginny found it very amusing and started giggling away. Kaminari cottoned on right away to what was causing the laughs, and he started pulling faces as he was shaking the bottle, which only added to Ginny's chuckles. Kyrie put her hand over her mouth to stop the laughter from coming out and quickly pulled her phone out of her pocket, setting the phone to video and recording. She was definitely going to save this adorable interaction for later viewing. Kaminari finished up his shaking and prepared the frying pan for cooking, pulling Ginny in the high chair a little closer so he could interact with her at the same time. He waited until the pan was hot enough and then poured four small amounts of batter in and waited. So, Ginny... Let me ask your opinion real quick, yeah? He asked to the baby, spatula in hand with his arms crossed across the front of his chest as he stood side on to her, tilting his head to look in her direction. So, um, there's this chick I really like. He started. Kyrie's heart leapt in her chest. I haven't known her long, but she's really cute. And I don't know, babe. I think she might be the one, he said, still looking at Ginny. Dada! Ginny replied with a smile. Yeah, I think so too, Cammy continued. I'd love to date her, but I don't know if she'd want me like that. Kyrie was having trouble breathing. Am I ready for a relationship? Do I feel the same way about him? Wait, is he even talking about me? Panic gripped her. But I don't want him to be with anyone else. Should I ask Kyrie out? Kaminari asked Ginny as he stepped forward and flipped the pancake. Kyrie nearly passed out. Oh my god, he is talking about me. Ginny giggled and reached out for Kaminari as he pushed the pancakes around a bit in the pan. Yeah, yeah, baby girl, you'll always be my number one, he said, putting the spatula down and pulling the giggling Ginny out of the high chair and spinning her around. I'd love to be a daddy one day, he added quietly. Kyrie had heard everything. She was on the verge of a panic attack. She didn't know why, but she just felt overwhelmed by emotions. Kaminari was such a genuine guy, and she didn't feel like she deserved him. She'd been so mean to him, yet he had persevered and kept trying to gently break down her walls and bring her out of her shell. He had always been kind to her and expected nothing in return. All he had asked for was friendship. He'd never forced anything on her. He'd never even backed her into a corner with emotional manipulation or blackmail. She felt unworthy. Slowly, she backed away from the precious sight of Kaminari cuddling Ginny as he flipped the pancakes out of the pan and onto a plate. Tears cascaded down her face as she ran quietly back to the master bedroom and shut the door behind her. She placed her back to the door and then slid down to the floor, clutching her knees and sobbing softly. Why was she so upset about this? Wasn't this what she wanted? He'd basically confessed to her. She had the most perfect catch of a guy waiting to be hers, and it terrified her. Shall we let Kyrie sleep a little longer, Ginny babe? 
Kaminari asked Jenny as he blew on a piece of pancake to cool it down. Jenny bounced in her high chair and reached out to him while whining impatiently for the piece of delicious food. Yeah, okay. We'll save her some pancakes, then she can heat it up a little later, he said with a smile. Then we can all go out together, to the park or markets or something, and pretend like we're a family, he added with a wink. After Kyrie had calmed down, she decided that she should probably head down to the kitchen for breakfast, but first she soaked her face in the ensuite basin and tried her best to abate the puffy, tear-induced bags under her eyes. She drank a bit of water too to help rehydrate, and then looked in the mirror. Meh, it'll do, she shrugged, and then tied her hair up in a messy bun before straightening her top and walking out of the door. Kaminari and Ginny had just finished up breakfast as she walked into the kitchen, and she tried her best to give Kaminari a warm smile. Hey, he greeted her enthusiastically. Sleep well? Yeah, she said. You? Yeah, like a log, he said with a chuckle. Hey, have you got plans today? Because if not, do you want to come to the markets with Ginny and I? And there ends chapter 30. Stay tuned for chapter 31 coming tomorrow.